Hey guys, ATI here today. I just wanted to say, incredible, we have officially hit 2,000 subscribers, and I am ecstatic to see all of the comments and views on the past two videos, um, about five days apart, so it's pretty cool. Uh, there's channels out there that get hundreds of thousands of views every day, and, you know, that's good for them. Um, I'm happy to get a thousand views, so it's it completely exceeded my expectations. Um, I am extremely happy to say that we've had a lot of movement on the Discord server. Um, so thank you to all of those who've joined the Discord server and um, been commenting, posting, joining the server chat, and talking about uh, the old days, the new days, the future, going over technology in the RF world and it has just been a whole lot of fun. I was up till three in the morning last night on Discord with some new members and um, they know who they are. Uh, and I want to say thank you for all of them. All you guys out there have been super awesome. Um, I really appreciate everybody asking and, co and answering each other's questions in the YouTube comments. Um, I do my best to jump on there and answer questions as they come in, but I'm not always available. You know, we all have lives. So I really want to thank all of the guys that are actually putting in the effort and answering and asking um, really good questions. And if I can't answer them, somebody jumps in there and answers them, and I really appreciate that. So um, today is going to be a third video in this series of cell site videos. Today is a really interesting video, and it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me to do. Um, at my company, when I was working as an RF engineer and a cell site engineer, I was asked by the company if I would uh, undergo or undertake a uh, from-scratch build of a mock cell site for our cell site training center in Coppell, Texas. And I said, absolutely. Um, I did everything from draw the the original drawings, the scope of work, to the building and overseeing the building, and personally building most of it out myself. Um, this was a training uh, class, so there was a lot of people that were coming in and out, and we had to integrate building the new training system with actively teaching people as they came through the class so I kind of stayed after hours in between and would start building the new stuff but over here we would keep building the old stuff I keep keep the same training curriculum going and then we slowly phased in the new builds um, what's remarkable at, at this this I'm gonna call it a lab but what's remarkable at this lab is we have two major kinds of cell sites um, that were the most common we would see, which was an AT&T indoor shelter, which you will see, and that is in the blue uh, room without a door on it. Um, and then we had an outdoor uh, site, which was two cabinets. It was a Purcell locker and a Netsure power plant sitting side by side on a platform. You'll see what that looks like as well. Um, but the really cool aspect about this is this is a up close and personal to what it looks like up on the tower top. Um, I don't have any videos yet that show a really in-depth look at what the tower looks like, all the equipment on the tower, how it works, how it, well not how it works, but how it's puts together, how it, uh, how the jumpers are run, how fiber runs to the radios, what the radios look like, what the antennas look like, uh, the lightning arresters on the tower side, all that is in this video. Um, I'm not doing a commentary or an or a informational thing on this. I didn't necessarily feel that that was necessary. If that's something y'all want to see as far as a nitty gritty video on how this stuff works and how the everything comes together, I'll do one. I just wanted to get a, a quick video out there to show you guys what the top of a tower looks like without actually being out in the field and holding a camera on the top of a tower. Um, so this is a really good video to show that. This is another big power-up video. All these sites are not on-air active. There's no RF on this training structure at all. We have link lights that are linking from the baseband unit to the radios. You'll see those as well on the baseband units. Um, this is a training site that's supposed to adopt a lot of different uh, specs and guidelines from different markets into one area. So you will see an Emerson or uh, an Emerson, an Ericsson baseband unit with a Nokia baseband unit right below it in one of the racks. Um, and then you will see 
like I said, indoor outdoor shelters, um, the tower top, and just kind of like the overall of what this thing is and how it all looks when it's modern coming together. And at the, you know, when you look at a tower on the street side, after looking at this video, you'll actually be able to start uh, recognizing certain com uh, similarities between the two. So I thought that this might be an interesting video for some for somebody. Um, we don't see a lot of this. You don't get to see up close and personal what the tower uh, top of the tower looks like. So um, it was a really fun project to work on. I had a lot of fun doing it. We had a lot of fun uh, training the green hands, and then we had a lot of good input from the experienced foremans, tower tech threes, um, and they learned a lot too. We all learned a lot. It was a great opportunity, and that's what it's all about. Enjoy.